Hey everyone, welcome to episode 26 of the VHS Bandits. This week, we watched Gremlins 2. Let's pop in the tape. Remember the last time? We told you not to feed them after midnight. We told you to keep them away from the light. And the most important warning of all, told you to never, ever get them wet. You didn't listen. They're mutating. <laughs> Sir, is the building on fire? No, no, that's a false alarm. <laughs> uh, are you trying to panic New York City? Absolutely not. So the monsters are real? I didn't say that. <laughs> Gremlins 2. The new batch. Now, was that civilized? No, clearly not. Fun, but in no sense civilized. And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody. Welcome again to the VHS Bandits, episode 26. Brought to you by the power of the people. We watched Gremlins 2 by the choice of our fans. That's right. Oh, yeah. that's why you said that. That is. <laughs> yeah, I that like, is why I said about? it. Do you have a sponsor from some like <laughs> socialist regime? Yes. As always, I am, as of right this moment, the slightly congested <laughs> Kev Bot. With me, as always, is Topher Hansen, also congested. Yeah. And Dane Train, not very congested. Today. All right. Ooh. We're very jealous. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mister, I can breathe out of my nose and smell things just fine. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I didn't sleep a wink last night because I had this wicked bad uh, sinus infection, headache, migraine that kept uh, me up late all night. It, it, like, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what? An, uh, uh, an anus infection? What? Yeah, is that Whoa. What you said? No, no, no. A sinus infection. So sometimes I'll sneeze or whatever, and then like the plumbing within my nose gets kind of clogged up, and then I get a really bad migraine for like 24 hours. Then you so. use one of those Ooh. teapot things with some Drano in there. That I does wish. does not work. No, it does uh, not. I thought that I had one scam. in the medicine cabinet, <laughs> and I couldn't find it. So Ugh. I had to use like a, I had some sinus relief stuff that doesn't do anything, and I had ibuprofen. So. That's all right. If yeah, anyone is- out there has ways <laughs> to clear your sinuses, email us at thevhsbandits at gmail.com. We are eagerly <laughs> awaiting to smell again. Yep. Nothing so, like works. be able to use the sense, the smell, not like yeah. be smelly people. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm already we there. We wouldn't yeah. even know if we were. That's true. That's very true. So we watched Gremlins 2. We put a selection of tapes, as I'm sure some of you will remember, up on our Instagram. And our Facebook page, close yeah. runner ups were so so here's about the, five different tapes. Here's the selection of tapes. So <laughs> there's so hap- way too many tapes to choose. I know. From. We, did, I'm sorry. we did post so, a lot. So what happened was, uh, so this is the very last episode for a, at least a while. I'd have to say that uh, ever the, that, that, that the toll man will be in person doing this because he is leaving to go to the other end of the country to live. Uh, so we're going to have to Skype him in or some kind of weird uh, stuff like that somehow uh, to do the show. But don't worry, we're still going to do the show. So in any case, uh, it was the last one, and, and we, we forced him to pick the last episode, you know, what tape we're going to do. And, uh, and he was like, and we were like, so what do you want to do for the last episode? He's like, ah, how about like a horror movie? So I took a bunch of my horror or spooky-esque movies. There is legit like... Two horror movies in the pile. I that know, we I know. I, I don't own many horror movies. I come to find out, I have mostly action movies. I if found. you have a horror movie that you would like to send us for us to review, please yeah. let us know. Send us an email at the VHS Bandits the at gmail. VHS dot, Bandits. The VHS Bandits at gmail dot com. Or yeah. send I want us, us to do message. man's best friend or man's best friend or rent a kid or rent a kid. Or, you know <laughs> what? A so book my show, uncle rent a kid the is. alien. Uh, that's oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. one you guys keep talking Scary about. Movie. Yeah, yeah. So I put up. I just you know real quick this morning uh, uh, after my my headache kind of went away, I took a picture of a bunch of tapes. I was like, ah, this is kind of spooky. So I got Gremlins two, uh, Repossessed, John Carpenter's The Fog, Arcade, Not Critters, 
without a box. The return of Swamp Thing. Yeah, the the, the Critters tape uh, came from the dump. So arguably, there's the fog and Critters. Uh, maybe Swamp Thing. Uh, no, is actually, Swamp movie? Thing is actually more of a, uh, an action movie than okay. anything. Yeah. So there's uh, two horror movies here, so here we go. We got some true winners right here. And even Critters is kind of sci-fi. We got Troll 2, uh, House of the Dead. I'm sorry. I should. I, I mean, The House of the Dead. Why? <laughs> Why? With Clint <laughs> Howard. Uh, and then we got Hobgoblins, which is kind of so it's kinda a looks like Gremlins. Uh, we got Creature, which is an alien ripoff. Not a good movie. Uh, we have Transylvania Twist, which is still wrapped in the in the in the wrapping, never been opened. Um, These I've are got, like the loosely based in horror. I know. <laughs> well, oh, well, uh, Event Horizon. Okay, that Every, you know that that that's a good one. Horror sci-fi. It's an awesome movie. Uh, we have Killer Instinct, not based that, off the Super Nintendo no game. Idea. Don't know anything. You about only it. have Killer Instinct because I gave it to you because it does not work in yeah, my VCR. But it works <laughs> in my have, VCR. We have no idea what it is. I don't know. I don't, yeah, and then lastly. Uh, the Watcher in the Woods, which some of you may have watched like in elementary school for no reason, uh, which which we yeah. did. Hey, you know what? I have Strange Land. We should do that sometime. Strange Dee Land? Snyder's movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be awesome. fun. All right, yeah. cool, cool. I feel like we watched that recently. Or recently? maybe I'm just making it up. It's you're, a good movie. You're making that up. Probably. So, we, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> well, I was just going to say that. Instead of us always trying to figure out what to do, I said, how about this? I'll take a picture of all these tapes. I'll put it up on our social medias, except Twitter, because I don't like Twitter. <laughs> Twitter doesn't like you. Yeah. So, oh, not to mention, like nobody likes your response to our Twitter stuff. I come to find it's like I don't know. Well, Instagram, so Instagram much is where to go. And, like, so I put up, fun. I put up a picture and I said, "Hey, tell us what movie you guys want us to watch." So we got a couple of responses, and Gremlins two won by one vote. What was the runner up? Oh, we had a couple of runner up. We had a five way runner up. Yeah, uh, oh five way tie it, for it runner up. Like There's so many movies. At, the at fog. two votes each, yeah. Gremlins two got three votes. Yeah, Gremlins 2 is the only one that got three votes. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have had a bunch of ties between... Uh, we would have so had we a would really have had, long so episode. If there was less tapes, there would have been like a more even distribution of yeah, votes. Yeah, if we had like two or three tapes, yeah. you probably would have gotten a, a good response. Because we did get a lot of people saying this, that, and the other thing. It was just oh, really yeah. spread out. It's just, yeah. Because, I mean, every movie got of at least one vote. No, uh, every, not no, true. no. Swamp oh, that's thing, true. Get any votes. Yeah, maybe uh, two of them. But still, I mean, Gremlins 2 got three, and five of them got two. Yeah. And then probably another five. So that's 15. That's like, that's 18 votes. Yeah, and that's just posting. Or whatever. That's pretty good. Yeah, over a couple hours. It's not bad. Not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. So Gremlins <sighs> 2. All right. It was interesting. So it was an amazing that. movie. Now, we've all seen this before, right? Oh, yeah. I think Not in a really long time, though. Me neither. Yeah. I watched it a few weeks ago. I watched number one a few weeks nah, ago. Just because I love Gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> and Joe Dante. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, so we've, we're all kind of familiar with this stuff. Mm. Um, so, but I watched a different version because I watched a, an online version. Oh, Maybe a and theatrical it, version, and this is the home video right. version. Yeah, because my, the version I watched had Hulk Hogan. This did not have Hulk Hogan. Uh, it did not. It had we'll uh, there, dubbed but, John Wayne. Yeah, but it it's caught me off guard. I'm so bummed that Hulk Hogan in his deleted scene was not on this tape. Yeah, I was hoping he was. And he, I actually kind of like this version better, though. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see here. So we got the box uh, now. I purchased this uh, probably 10 years ago um, from the Video Vault, which uh, was a video rental store in the center of Westboro, Massachusetts, uh, right on Sabatini's. South Street. Yep, right next to Sabatini's. Uh, and I, uh, I worked part-time at a classic car restoration shop, which is right next to it. So at the time, I used to, after work, I used to go over there and rent a tape, and they would have some of their tapes for sale and things like that, and they and this one was. And for you sale. could rent some of our tapes there too. That's right. Yeah, some <laughs> of our home movies. Write nasty emails to us. That's right. Yeah, that certainly <laughs> happens. So um, this and one now has you can a, find all those on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so not. so this one has a uh, yeah on Red Tube, right? <laughs> so, th- so this one has uh, a Video Vault sticker on on the tape itself, which is great. Um, no stickers on the actual. Uh, box itself but you know actually the the box itself is in 
It's in really, mint condition. It's in super good uh, Still shiny shape. Shiny on the top. Yeah, yeah. The box is in really good shape. It's super glossy, and you know, it's it's your typical box where it says, uh, "We told you, remember the rules. You didn't listen." Gremlins two, the new bot, the new patch. <laughs> The new Here. bod. Sexy, yeah. sexy bod. Here, they grow again. So you got, uh, again, it's, you know, it's, it's Gremlins in New York. It's just kind of like Home Alone 2 in New York. It's Gremlins, <laughs> Gremlins 2 lost in, New York. in New York. Yeah. Uh, so you got, uh, you know, it's like an office chair with one of the Gremlins smoking a stogie and uh, Gizmo is hanging out in a drawer. Um, so on the back, you got a picture of Gizmo in his Rambo outfit and you got the smart, brainy, uh, a gremlin holding up a picture of the two main characters, and it says, uh, 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 Flick slash PBS TV says it's the funniest film of the year, wild, wacky, and weird. Yesterday, it was rural Kingston Falls, today, it's the Big Apple, and lots of wild are in our. Do you need someone Antarctic, else to read it? Antarctic comedy? <laughs> Antarctic. Where, where, okay, where is it? Anar- Anarchic uh, comedy? Okay, let's see. I don't know where you're reading this. A top paragraph. And Yeah, anarchic. That's yeah. weird. Like anarchy? Anarchy? Yeah. That's a weird word. Okay, anywho. Sorry, I'm stupid, folks. Well, I don't know. It hasn't bothered me. <laughs> because a new batch of mischievous green meaties is on the loose. Original Gremlins collaborators Joe Dante as director and Michael Fennell as the producer, Steven Spielberg, co-executive producer, young stars Zach Galligan and Phoebe Cates, and cuddly furball Gizmo reunite in a zippy sequel that's infernally funny and better than the original, says Michael Wilmington of the Los Angeles Times. The fun comes in nonstop batches of exuberant special effects reptilian mischief that balloons into comic catastrophe. Who wrote this? <laughs> and an exclusive gremlin eye surprise, a special sequence just for home video viewers. There we yeah. go. Oh, there, there you we have got. it there, dude. We told you, remember the rules. You didn't listen. Now you'll have to face up to the hilarious consequences and have a blast doing it. That's where I'm because when I think of consequences, I think of having a blast doing that. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so this is PG thirteen from nineteen ninety. Gremlins two. Steven PG Spielberg 30. always produces awesome stuff that he would never dare direct himself. That's or true. Like, like uh, Freakazoid comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um. So Gremlins two. What'd you guys think of Gremlins 2? Oh, I love it. It's pretty good. Yeah. What about compared to Gremlins 1? Hmm? Mm-hmm. I like it better than Gremlins you 1. You do. Well, it's so weird because it's almost like apples to oranges because... It's such a different movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, the first one is a Christmas horror movie. It is a lot, like, scarier. Like, yeah, yeah. That... This I wouldn't consider too much of a horror movie. Not... I mean... This is more of a horror comedy. Oh yeah, but Very the original horror. one like kind of blurs that line a little more and could be considered like just straight up horror. They went for a lot of jokey shtick kind of stuff. Yeah, in this yeah. movie, it's all uh, references and breaking the fourth wall. Whereas the first movie didn't have any of that stuff. I don't think not a lot. There were some. There were some goofy things. Nothing comes to mind, but um, definitely nowhere near. Gremlins too. No, the new batch. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 like a completely different movie. Yeah. You know. Um. But yeah, I think this one again. It's like it's, Aliens. It's like Alien yeah. compared to Aliens. True. Yeah. Yeah. They're two completely different movies. Yeah. Yeah. You can't compare. This them. one is just like bat shit compared to the first one. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think, that Kev? No, it was good. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have been the yeah, VHS that's Bandits. The end of the podcast. So. That's that's the official rating. I like yeah, it. I like it. So yeah. the first one took place in a little rural town. Like uh, thousands of miles away, apparently. Oh, I thought it was going to be like upstate New York or whatever, but like um, Dick Miller comes in and he's like, I got to take like 18 buses to get here. And like, I don't know, someone sat on your apple pie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could only. 40 days to get here. Who's your favorite part of the movie? What, what's Dick my... Miller. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Actually, this is a lot of my favorite parts. A lot of my Who's favorite... your favorite character? Oh, man, it's hard to say. Because... You're going to say Super Dracula. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he was great. He was awesome. Yeah, he's probably probably one of, well no no I actually you know I think the uh, the drunk cooking lady is probably my oh favorite really part of the movie. okay she's a good one she's yeah. funny as hell but actually the the, the guy, microwave with March yeah yeah uh, I, I think Mr Clamp was probably my favorite all right he was yeah, really yeah. good he is I, good I don't know uh, what what his real name he definitely is. like tied this oh, whole uh, movie together I think he's John Glover if I recall um, he's in a, like a lot of stuff once in a while but he's the man like he's I feel like he's never the guy who's ever gotten. Uh, top billing, top billing anything, in yeah. anything in his life, and I think he should have because he's the man. Yeah, he's really good. He's a great, great actor. He's great at being very open over the top. Um, but uh, I but wouldn't like, even say over the top. I say like on point. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, like, there's a ton of really... heightened reality. Yeah. What, what about Christopher Lee? Oh, seriously, like, there's a ton of of big names in this movie. Yeah, you got Christopher Lee. Or just like people that you've seen in a lot of other stuff. Uh, you've got uh, um, John Aston just pops in real quick to be a uh, 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 a janitor. Yeah, yeah, um, that was a, that Jamie was Wittonica. another one of my favorite parts. Yeah, uh, so you know, yeah, you, you have, have those two uh, the scientist twins, the chubby scientist twins who yeah. show up in a lot of stuff yeah. as chubby twins. Terminator obviously. Two, uh, Ernest rides again. They uh, were in, uh, as I mentioned before, they were in. Uh, the first episode of Erie, Indiana, uh, as the Forever Wear kids all grown up. Yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of a lot of people. I've got to say this right here and now, because I know, I know she hasn't been in any other, mo- other movies we watched yet, but Phoebe Cates is hands down. Is always it Phoebe Cates? Phoebe Cates. It's pronounced Cates? Cates, because okay. it's got an E at the end. All right. She is. She's been my my '80s babe crush ooh, ooh, since ooh, ooh, way back in the day. Hubba hubba! Wow. Uh, of all the '80, you know, all the '80s babes, uh, you know, uh, between uh, you know, uh, 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 Linnea Quigley and uh, uh, you know, E.G. Daly and all these chicks that were in a bunch of movies back in the day. Uh, you know that, that that you know as a kid you watch it like oh wow what you gave know? her babe status to you because she's very reserved in the Gremlins uh, movies. I know like, she's very like buttoned up. Uh, I know, but, uh, she looks super hot in the first movie and she's in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, yeah. You're she's right. the girl who takes the top off in front of oh, Judge Reinhold. Oh, babe. Yeah. All so, right. So, uh, Case closed. Oh yeah, dude. She's a babe. Yeah. Mega babe. She's in Drop Dead Fred. Um, you know, she, I, I just, it, to me, she's always been my number one eighties babe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely understandable. So, yeah. Um, but hey, real quick about Gremlins 2. Yep. This is one of those sequels that I have always found, like a, like a lot of movies. There was sometime I was going to have like a talk about this on my old show, Couch's Corner, I used to do a talk show. Yeah. Um, I, I used to do this uh, local access show called Couch's Corner. We had different little topics and stuff. And I was going to do one about uh, Gremlins 2. Well, not, not just about Gremlins 2, <laughs> sequels? but sequels. Uh, not just sequels, <laughs> but sequels, sequels to Gremlins. Sequels. That oh, so the, where the original movie was made in the eighties, oh. and its sequel was made in the nineties, and and the, both movies obviously have very different generation uh, feels. So for instance, yeah, when was the first Gremlins made? Uh, uh, Mid eighties, I think. Probably eighty. I think it was eighty six. Okay, I think. Um, and even though this is eighty four, eighty four. There you go. And even though this is nineteen ninety, it to me it has a very. <laughs> Early '90s feel to it. Another yeah, movie because it's 1990. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, like even even between like '89 and '90, you know what I'm saying? Like the, you know, the, you see what I'm saying? No, you said the, even though this is 1990, it feels very early '90s. No, no, but I'm just saying that like it has a different feel than if it were made in 1989. Yeah, for, because it. No, I get I get yeah. what you're saying. Right. You know, for instance, like I feel like if you watch movies from the late '70s, yeah. And then you watch movies made in the early 80s. A lot of early 80s movies, to me, feel like they were made in the late 70s. So you're saying, like, uh, it's on point with its contemporaries rather than, like, some of the movies we watch that came out in 1990 look like they came out from 1985? Is Correct that what you're saying? Canadian movies, yes. Yeah, yes. Canadian movies. So uh, another perfect example of this is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, made in the 80s and then bogus journey made in the 90s 
It's very different feel. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. One is uh, Van Halen, and the other one is Faith No More. I mean, yeah. huge, yeah. huge, huge differences. You know what I mean? Um, you know, yeah. it's but really, this is a big studio movie though, so it's not like yeah. A, you know, it's one that um, uh, movie seek, movie and sequel that fit that, but don't really have a different feel, only because they just replicated a lot of the jokes is Wayne's World. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I do love Wayne's World. Yep. I totally agree with you there. But they I'd just definitely kind of go, go for through the first the, one. What's that? I definitely go for the first one over for, the second first one. First Wayne's World? Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people love the second one. I, I, I like Wayne's I World do. too a lot. Yeah. But I mean I love them both. I'll yeah. watch them all day long. Wayne's World is the first tape that I rented, watched it rewound it and immediately watched it again oh really wow. yeah it was that good i don't think i've ever done that with well really no i don't think i've ever done that with any movie Ooh. where i've watched it and then rewound it and watched it right after oh no. man it was that good i don't think i've ever done that with any movie not no. even a movie with boobs in it <laughs> no 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 not, that's not, fair. That's not fair. even uh 15 minutes of fast times at richmond high <laughs> <laughs> yeah right uh no no actually uh no, no, no. Actually, no, I think I only... I watched Fast Times at Richmond High at your house. Yeah. And I never saw it before that. That's so, a great movie. Yeah, it seriously is. Um, no, I, I saw very few movies with boobies in it when I was a little kid. Unless it was at my house. <laughs> okay, right, right, right. <laughs> right. Yep. So, that's, that's Loose scary. Screws, Fast Times at Richmond oh, High. Oh, seriously. If it wasn't for going to your house, I, I never would have seen any teen sex comedies, you <laughs> that's know? That's right. They all started you never would have gotten addicted. To teen sex. Sorry, That's I got right. you. I got you addicted to boobies. That's right. Yep. Yep. Those teen sex comedy boobies. Oh, jeez. So, what it, have I created? Just perusing real quick on IMDb, um, the male carrier or the male guy in yeah. the movie. Um, he played De Stefano in Alien Resurrection. Yes, he did. Yeah. And uh, I'm the only he, person in the world that knows that. He also <laughs> I played, like Alien Resurrection. So I like Alien hate. Resurrection too. I feel like nobody likes Alien Resurrection but me. It's crazy. Right. I love it. Whatever. We're in the minority. Whatever. I watched it on we, Thanksgiving. We saw it in the theater yeah. together. Right. He also so. played Tuco in Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul. Okay. Oh, I've never so seen either of those Alien shows. Alien Resurrection. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't right. finished Tuco, Better I Call love, Saul. He's like a great, great bad guy. All right. He's cool. just off his fucking rocker. Good, good. You should watch Breaking Bad. I should. It's a pretty good show. Never seen it. I know everybody's going to think I'm nuts. Better Call Saul is very good, but I have not finished it. Is, it is, yeah. Cool, cool. Anyway. Anywho, so... Um, Does anything to- even happen in this movie? You know, it's... Everything <laughs> happens in this movie. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that doesn't happen in this movie. Well, you know, uh, one thing I, I really noticed... This movie is chaos. Uh, again, a difference between the first movie and this movie is... When Gizmo got water on him uh, in the first movie. No Corey Feldman in this one. From Corey Feldman, right. Uh, you know, he dropped like a... It was both at paint. Paint was yes, what did that's it. That's right, yep. Oh. Um, so when he got the water on him and he multiplied, all the other Gizmos looked exactly like Gizmo. I mean, all the other gremlins, you know, the furry, small Gizmo-looking gremlins, mm-hmm. they all looked exactly like Gizmo Except for one, which had the the white stripe, stripe so they call them stripe. Yeah, so you know, so that almost made it a little bit confusing. And then when they all turn into gremlins, they all look the same, except for the one with the stripe. So you know, yeah. again, they all. So whereas this one, I think it was a really smart move that even when they were little gizmos up to when they were gremlins, every single one looked different. To you know, one had some spikes, one had some little horns. Each there was one, the dummy one. Yeah, there was. You know what I mean? Yeah, each one had like a different personality. Whereas in the first yeah. one, they all were basically the same except for Stripe. They was wanted like the to thing. give them a real personality. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. The, that is one. Like because all the all the gremlins have different there's something special like there's a fucking spider gremlin electricity yeah, gremlin yeah. vegetable gremlin bat gremlin you name Talking it gremlin. it's a gremlin yeah 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 uh, i mean we're in the first one yeah it's just gremlins yeah exactly right so gremlin got a gun there's plenty of gremlins with guns in this movie yeah I think there's at only, least four. I think there's only one with a gun in the first one. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's just one of those things where I think that was a really smart move yeah. to have all the different personalities. And I, it's one of those movies, too, where I feel like you have to watch it more than once to see all the little things that kind of go on in the background. I noticed a lot of, like, new stuff this time around. Yeah. 
Yeah, like the little references and things like that. So I didn't notice anything, but I just hadn't <laughs> seen it in a while, so I was just paying attention. Hey, what do we eat tonight? Uh, we got, oh, God. Taco my, Hut. Test taco Hut, yep. Taco Hut. No, no, ta- taco Kentucky Bell, Fried KFC. Tacos? Yes, Kentucky Fried Tacos. I got this thing called the Famous Bowl. Kentucky Bell? It was little chicken nuggets. Uh <laughs> In mashed just, potatoes with gravy and someone on their break cheese. throws up in a bowl and yeah, charges you five bucks for it. That's what it tasted like. It was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I liked <laughs> it tasted it. like throw up. It was pretty Ooh, good. Yeah. I think I think Pat Oswald said it best, where he just said it's sadness in a bowl. That's right. <laughs> and that's how I'm gonna feel. We're gonna put when all I go those on the things. Can later. Fuck it. Just put them all in a bowl. <laughs> I just had popcorn chicken. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Nope. 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 I don't remember what I got. Yeah, Tacos. Well, you, know, you got and, a to-go cup, right? And a to-go cup. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that sound's about right. And I remember you saying these <laughs> How, chicken wedges or whatever. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is I got one of those cards from the local high school, so you get like, some deals in the area, and this one goes to it. But it's like, deal. But it's like, oh, you get a free drink if you get a, if you get a value meal. I didn't get a value meal. I completely forgot. And I, I just up went up to him and said, give me a free drink. Yeah, I yeah. just said, so like, hey, I this card gives me a free drink. So I got a free drink without getting a <laughs> Yell meal. Yell at us and get a free so drink. It worked out pretty good. <laughs> Order just, with a gun. Get free meal. Yeah, it's perfect. Ah. Yeah, I've got this gun, and I want a number 11 meal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> pay? No. I don't want to pay. Um, so back on to Gremlins. Um, so this this we just go through it. Sure. So instead of being in the small sleepy town of Kingston Falls, we're now in Manhattan, the Big Apple, the town so nice they named it twice. And the uh, guy, the Gizmo Wrangler guy. What the the old Chinese old, guy? The old Chinese yeah. guy. Yeah. Gizmo Wrangler, like it sounded like a dog catcher. Gizmo Wrangler, yeah. You know he's <laughs> gizmo he gives out Wrangler. the gri- he, he gives out Gizmo, and they take <laughs> him back. Takes and, him back every time he kills people. Exactly. He's got a sh- little shop with some knickknacks and some doodads. Yeah, it's all covered in dust. <laughs> all covered in dust. And someone, the big guy, um, the big cheese guy. What's his name? I don't know his uh, name. Clutch? Clamps. Clamps. Cl- Clamp is the like Clamp, yeah. head honcho. Clamps. Just like Futurama. <laughs> but his like the clamps. His scummy like right hand man wants to buy in. he's buying up the whole block so he can bulldoze it and put up a crazy Chinatown oriental thing. themed yeah. future ville. Just like in <laughs> just like the in China uh, of the future in Manhattan. Just like in Disney World with a monorail. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Space at, Mountain. At, uh, Epcot. <laughs> yeah. Epcot, yeah. When I think of ancient China, I think of Space Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The world of tomorrow. That's the only China But he I've won't sell. And that's yeah. the only reason they're not building anything. And then six weeks later, he dies. Yeah. And then they demolish it anyway. Well, the weird thing is, like, they demolish it. With Gizmo and all this junk. All, there yeah, could the be so it. much, like, uh, like, treasure in there they i mean if you even, bought the place they you, didn't even yeah. give any uh relatives a chance to uh i don't think he has he in the first movie he had a nephew or something he did but he wasn't in this i'm sure they probably parted ways maybe he's at college or something i don't, I don't know. know you think he would you know leave all that stuff in the will or whatever oh he right. probably did but clamp industries does not give a fuck yeah they just tore it down. Maybe, maybe they did, and then they they sold the property to the kid. Yeah, they could probably just said, "Fuck it, I just, like, just oh, take the money." Clamp wants to buy this building. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. There's a bunch of old dusty shit in there. Sure, because he yeah. did sell Gizmo behind the old man's back in the first movie. Yeah, so he is kind so of an just, asshole. He just wants the money, money, money. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. So that's probably why he got fired. Yeah, and, and one of the clone guy, like Gizmo's in the building, they're tearing it down, so he breaks out. Yeah, and one of the clone guys finds him. Clone guys. Yes, yeah. One of the I mean, scientists. Clone guys. The two clones. Oh, oh, they're from Terminator Two. You think they're the clones? Guys. Yeah, because they say, "What? It, what? How's the cloning experiment going?" And one of them turns around and he's like, "It's going quite well." And then the other one turns oh. around. Right. Yeah. So you have to assume that they, they're one of them to clone. It's either implied or because yeah, they're yeah. twins. Yeah. That's they work with the right. cloning stuff. Okay. I was just confused as to who you're so talking they, about. They bring yeah. them back to this mega building, the Clamp Industries building, which also has a TV station in it, and it's like a big mega mall. 
Yeah. With a TV station and a bunch of shops in it. Business I gotta say, it's TV studio meets hotel meets yeah, everything. Right. Business center. Yeah. Meets shopping mall. And so swimming pool. when when Gizmo is like running away, or anytime we see Gizmo like full body, it's I love it because it's one of the best things about little rubber monster movies. <laughs> Is it's like claymation gizmo, like in front of like a green screen or whatever, and then he's superimposed, like, <laughs> and he's just like wobbling back and forth, and it's I don't know, it's just it's awesome, stubby. it's such a satisfying like visual. You, you can't recreate that that magic with that bullshit CGI. See, that's again, that's yeah. why yeah. Joe Screw Dante technology. fucking rules, and why Joe Dante is like one of my up. favorite directors. Yeah, I mean, like the fact that this movie was so this, and even the first one were so expertly crafted with all these little puppets and animatronics back then. And why the fuck can't they do that bullshit today? <laughs> fuck people today who, who are making shitty movies. That's all I gotta I say. I think it's starting to turn around a little bit more. A little It's starting bit. to like... No, what happened There is, was a time where it was like everything is CGI and now things because are Matrix. like... Yeah, yeah probably. And now the Matrix made everyone want to go to CGI. <laughs> the problem is... Anti-Titanic every, and Avatar. Everything now is, is like it's a puppet but they CGI around it too. Right. That's why you. That's why everybody thought that the monster in Stranger Things was CGI. You know what? Because they doctored it up with CGI. Yeah, even though it I was thought it was CGI. Prosthetic. Yeah, everybody thought so. So that's what I'm saying is like, just leave it alone. Just put your puppet in front of the TV. And like wait, the wait, remake wait. of the thing was all practical. Yeah. And then they like completely got rid of the it. The executive, pro- uh, the the producer just said, "Oh, it looks too '80s. Cover it up with yeah, CGI." Yeah, it looks too good. Make I, it look terrible. Make hey, here's here's a reference point. Um, don't watch the thing uh, from the '80s for your reference. Watch Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes. Oh my! God. That's the kind of monster we want in our monster movie. The, the, uh, the pumpkin head with a tail that does a little goofy dance. <laughs> it's right? So bad. Yeah. Uh, you were saying, Kevin? I'm sorry. Uh, so I was just, you wanted to talk I was about just very surprised ashes that ashes? you guys have watched Stranger Things, but you haven't watched Breaking Bad. Well, I mean, well, Stranger two Things completely different is like things. way up our alley. Yeah, whereas like... Breaking Bad is like I a have, crime drama. I have no interest in drug dealing guys, oh, Brian Cranston. Okay. I just have okay. no interest in that. That's I fair. mean, I, again, I'm, I'm a sci-fi... I'm, I don't like like... I don't like shit that's realistic. I like no, no, I goofy it. Uh, sci-fi shit. So. My only thing is that it's like so much to commit to. Like if I like watch something like Marin, like I watched the entire like fourth season of Marin in like two days. But right. with Breaking Bad, I'd have to watch so much at one time, I feel like. What is Marin? It's Mark Marin's Mark TV Marin. show. It's really good. I have no idea who the fuck that is. He's a comedian from Boston. He's got a podcast called WTF Podcast. Okay. He's kind of a big deal, Dean. Jeez <laughs> oh, Louise. It's no, really good. Really. Yeah, you should, you should check it out. It's an IFC funny. show. It's kind of like Louie. Yeah, Which, do you okay. know what Except Louis is? slightly oh, yeah. less depressing. Yeah, slightly. I used yeah. to like the. Uh, uh, well, not uh, this new season. No, this season's <laughs> probably up there with Louis. Yeah. I liked it when when Louis had a show where it was like the a stage like one a sitcom. Lucky Louis. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a good show. I liked That's it. Good. So, anywho, back to Gremlins Dose, the new batch. Turns out everyone from the first Gremlins movie works for this company. Just no, just these two. And the grandfather, right? The grandfather? The Dracula guy? Wasn't he's he in the first, the first one? No, one. he's just a he's a completely oh. new character. I mean, I Grant, I mean, he is grandpa from I mean, he's supposed from the to Munsters. be gra- grandpa from Monsters, yeah. But yeah, he he's not in the first movie at all. Why did I think he was? I don't know. I also haven't <laughs> seen the first one in forever, so oh. that's probably that's why. Okay. Um yeah, so it's just um Billy from the first one and his girlfriend. Uh, and his girlfriend is a tour guide at the Clamp Tower, and Billy's uh, an architect, or he works in the marketing department. Something like I that. Feel. Yeah, I think he's yeah. Um, because he does drawings for like brochures or whatever, like promotional drawings for that new, uh, like Japan town or whatever he's trying to make. Right, the development. Yeah. Um. Then there. There's not enough gizmo in this movie, I gotta say, guys. I, I feel so too. Yeah. Yeah. I not agree. Enough gizmo. But you kind of go through and you see it's like big business and he's got a boss who's like on his ass. 
about like drawing and you get yeah. like you know people taking unauthorized breaks and they he get uh, they really gets set up fired. the world of this like uh the clamp tower is like its own like its own like north korea kind of like in in a tower you're always being watched everything right is like connected to everything everything it's like a smart building yeah so like the doors open by themselves but they like fuck up and everything get you stuck in there and, and you go in the bathroom and says welcome to the bathroom don't forget to wash your hands and hey jerk <laughs> yeah i hope you remembered to wash your hands oh Something. fire yeah, it's it. Those are the little subtle things that I don't really notice the first time I watch the movie. You know? Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, um, and it's weird that like a lot of that stuff is kind of like true now with like the smart home things where you talk to your house and your lights come on and shit like with, that. Uh, uh, Gremlins Two is ahead of its time. Alexa, Alexa and play like Gremlins Two. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Billy is now doing his designs. And his boss is this fiery redhead girl who is, like, super career-oriented, and she thinks nothing uh, but for herself. She has this ridiculous New York yeah. accent that's a little over the top. She's like, in every, in every like, stage play about New York, there's got to be that girl with that annoying accent. Which is that, funny because like, she is seen, I think she's the only one in the movie who hasn't she is, yeah. Accent, right. <laughs> and uh, so Billy's like doing his drawings, and she's like, "Put some trees in there. People love." Tre- I can't fucking do that <laughs> accent, but and then when did what happens? Like, when does Gizmo the, come in? The guy who found Gizmo works in the genetic. Oh yeah, the genetic lab, right? Department. So Billy or doesn't really they're matter doing, at where this point. Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee heads up that department. Yeah. And Gizmo is there, and they're going to run a bunch of experiments on him. Yeah, and they go over... And this- some, somehow, Billy finds out that Gizmo is down there. Well, so, okay, so the, the clone twins took Gizmo, and they have him in a cage, and Christopher Lee comes in and collects uh, its pat's tissues that she sneezes in because he wants the flu to experiment with and um the the twins show off gizmo to uh to christopher lee and they're like check this out and they turn on some uh, rock and roll music and gizmo starts dancing howie mandel and then he gizmo like sees a chance to run away but then Christopher Lee grabs him up. He's like, nope, you go back into this cage. I am an evil scientist. And then the mailman comes in, that your guy from Alien Resurrection yeah, from comes Resurrection. in. And he sees Gizmo, and Gizmo's like whistling his song that he does. And then mailman's delivering packages or whatever in uh, Billy's department. And he's whistling the song. And then Billy's like, where'd you hear that song? He's like, I don't know. Isn't it? It's like Sting, right? And then he's like, no. Oh, yeah. I heard it in the uh, the uh, freaky science lab upstairs. All right, bye. And then Billy figures out that Gizmo is up there. So he breaks in. Breaks him out. He breaks him out. Shoves him in a desk drawer. Yeah. Not the safest place for a mogwai. So then we get a little bit of... Uh uh, love triangle tension. I don't know what else to call it because the redhead. But he's like not really not interested at all. in her. Yeah, she's she, just trying well, to use her. She body. advances on him, and he's yeah. just like, uh, business. He's like, yeah, I've got a fiance. Well, the funny thing is, he never actually says that to her. I've That's got true a because Kate's I get home. he wants yeah. he wants to be able to provide for his fiance, so he has to cheat on her to do. Because they that. live in New York. Yeah, That's yeah, expensive. and they live in a New shitty York. apartment that was established they live in a shitty neighborhood which is established yeah, but they oh, have yeah. a video store downstairs they do yeah well, the sidewalk is filled with so much trash and yeah. roaming dogs have you roaming ever been to golden retrievers and oh, oh yes <laughs> but everyone is dressed really nicely walking I'm by the pimps man yeah no it's just like dude in like reebok wear <laughs> maybe he's got a sponsorship I maybe don't know. could be um and 
he puts Gizmo in that drawer instead of like taking him home himself. No, he's not because um, Clutch Man, Clutch Clamps, man. <laughs> Clutch, hey Clutch Man, Clutch Man, whatever his name is, comes down to the art department and likes Billy's thing. Oh yeah. So the visits. boss is like, "Oh, we got a future. Yeah. We're, me and you are going places. I'm taking you out to dinner. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge." I know this great Canadian restaurant. Yes. Which was a great restaurant. I <laughs> hope that Creek, I wish Manhattan. that restaurant was <laughs> was still open. I'd go there. It, did, did you ever go to Bugaboo Creek? I did. It's fucking it's terrible. terrible. Jimmy's <laughs> Tavern in White City. Like oh, Bugaboo? there's still Bugaboo Creeks out there. Oh, God. Really? Well, yeah. uh, who this, would this, you think a Canadian themed restaurant would be like. Wh- whose Bugaboo, idea is that? Bugaboo Creek is not Canadian themed. Yes, it it's is. just wilderness themed. Bugaboo yeah. Creek and There's Canada no mountains. There's, they have a wooden mountie, like a wooden Indian. They have a wooden mountie. It is it was definitely Indian Canadian. Indian and a mountie are not the same thing. No, no, no. Oh, I'm saying like w- the, c- the cigar Indians, you know, like it from Spags and stuff like that. They yeah. have a mountie version. I don't There's Mounties at Bugaboo that. Creek. Okay. Either way, the food's overpriced <laughs> and it sucks. I thought that they were all gone because. Uh, uh, I was in Nashua. Nine too. <laughs> I was in Nashua, New Hampshire recently. We went to Denny's, and right down you there, went all the way up to Nashua to go to Denny's. No, no, no. I went to Fright Kingdom, the haunted oh, house, okay. and then we went to go eat at Denny's, which was I don't know two minutes down the road. I don't know which was scarier. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, it wasn't the Denny's in Worcester. Well, well there that's was a true. yeah. Nobody that's got the scariest shot at place in the world. <laughs> and then there was uh, there was a board at a Bugaboo Creek, and I was like, oh, oh I guess yeah, they almost be gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's New Hampshire's one. too close to Canada, so the uh, it's not as the real like, thing. <laughs> so it's like the closer you get to Canada, the the, the better of a probability you'll find that there's one that's open. No, no, no. The cl- like it's less of a novelty because right. you're like, oh, we're so close, we can just go to Canada. Oh, but if you're in like Texas, you're like, ooh, the exotic land of Canada. Okay, I got yeah, right. Bugaboo Creek. It's like well, uh, how do the Canadians go, live? Go home. The air conditioning is just it's up like really if high. You, if you lived in Texas and you went to a Texas Longhorn Steakhouse or whatever it's called, right? Yeah, yeah. Or Texas, if you go to a Boston market, they here, just call nothing to do. They with just Boston. call them right. steakhouses there. Just steakhouse, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but the anyway, state, you're in steakhouse. Yeah, so you're in steakhouse. The Billy, state steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Billy, Billy and the is, redhead are at Bugaboo Creek, and she's like <laughs> trying to hit on him to get uh, to Mister Clamp through Billy. And the Canadian Mountie waiter comes up with this big chocolate mousse. And he's like, oh, hey, you guys uh, want some chocolate mousse? <laughs> <laughs> but Billy tells, before they go out to dinner, Billy tells Gizmo in the drawer, like, stay here. You're going to have to stay, get comfortable. I'm going to come back. Right. Because I'm going out to dinner. And then he sends his fiance to come back to him. To and Gizmo, Gizmo does Gizmo not home. listen to instruction very well. Yeah. If he had just stayed in that drawer, he would have been This just movie fine. wouldn't have happened. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And he would have been perfectly fine. I wonder where happy. where was he going? I think he was just... He maybe just he couldn't breathe or something. He wanted out. He just wanted to stretch his legs because he's been yeah. in a cage yeah. for... Because that's like year that's year when... Um, what's his name? Showed up. John Aston. Gizmo that's gets put in so many cages. He's in a cage in the beginning. He breaks he was, out. He gets put back in the cage. I, I think that was just like his house. Because like they lifted the cover... Or the cover went up when they were about to tear yeah. it down, and the cage was open. Well, it's still a cage, though. That's true. He feel, I'm saying, like, you know, mentally, it probably takes a toll on Gizmo. And then he gets put in a cage in the clone lab. You know what? He probably, he probably feels safer in a cage, even if it's an <laughs> open cage. I don't think so. And because then he gets put in, he tries to break out of the cage in the clone lab. Well, they're going to experiment on him. Would you want to be in a cage? Because he wasn't trying to escape. He the just cage. wants to watch Rambo too, man. He does. Rambo. Just wants to rot, <laughs> rot his brain watching TV. This ain't my war. <laughs> and, and drawers aren't very comfortable. Yeah, he puts him in a drawer, which is like a cage. So maybe he's like, I gotta get out of this cage. I don't know why I made him like Mario, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's me, a gizmo. <laughs> but he gets leaping lasagna. Hey, yo, we're in Manhattan over Doop here. The gizmo, bop, bop, boo, do, do, more cocaine and gizmo. <laughs> more cocaine. Gizmo hey. gets wet. <laughs> yeah, gizmo yeah. gets wet from John Astern's uh, Bobola. <laughs> He's like this disgusting. Or, the, or as, they, as they call him in custodian. New York, the water fountain. Yeah. Uh, the water fountain 
Bubla shoots him in the face. <laughs> and I forget what he says, but like everything he says <laughs> is a gem. Uh, no, John Aston. Oh, <laughs> no, oh he's no. just, just like... John Aston said... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to wrench you, Mr. Bubbler. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but he's really funny. And the said, so boogity, Gizmo, boogity, boogity, boo. <laughs> right? And we're like, why doesn't Gizmo run away? But then he does. He hides under uh, Billy's desk. But he, he hides slightly. He hides covered. directly under the easel. Yes. And the water hits Billy's painting and slides down the edge of the easel. So therefore, it falls on Gizmo. And that's when he starts to bubble up and spew. Uh, mogwai balls everywhere. Gross furry mogwai balls. Which are all uh, different yeah. this time. Which is Individual good. personality mogwai like balls. Like how, how some of them are black with little white stripes. And, yeah. You know, so. There's, and then, really, there's, there's the, one goofball the two one. dumb ones. There's the buck tooth dumb one and then the dumb one that He's looks the like googly eyes. Yeah, yeah, googly eye one. And that's the one that Phoebe Cates brings home. Yeah, because evil mogwai Because she's him. dumb. Doesn't remember. Uh, you think Gizmo she would remember what he looked like, you know? Well, she didn't spend too much time with Gizmo. I don't That's think. True. And, and you said he got taken away by the uh, Chinese guy at true. the end of the movie. Um. So the evil Mogwais put uh, Gizmo in the uh, ventilation. Yeah, vents. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Another movie with vents. Yep. Gotta have vents. You know it's a good movie when there's Gotta vents involved. Vents. With pizza men and hookers in them. Yeah. Yeah. So then she takes uh googly eyed Mogwai, thinking he's Gizmo, and he's just causing a ruckus. Meanwhile, Billy's on a date with that girl. Business date. Business date. Business date yeah. at Bugaboo Creek. And then Billy comes home. Find and, a mess. Yeah. To with find a Gizmo. Googly eyed Gizmo. Smooch on his cheek. Yeah. Googly eyed uh, Mogwai is trashing the place with food, throwing Thinks chicken it's wings hilarious. at his fiance, mashed potatoes or something. I want to assume it was like KFC takeout. It certainly looked it like didn't KFC. Look fried. Yeah. It looked like KGC. Well, Kentucky well they Grilled have chicken when they went through that. Oh phase. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, is that why, you know, there was a little ear of corn and stuff. Yeah. So right, mashed, exactly. She said mashed potatoes, so it's definitely yeah, KFC. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, and it, or, came, it came in a little box too. Yeah. Oh, so, so this was appropriate. It, it could have yeah. been crown chicken <laughs> on, on Lincoln Street. Could have been Popeyes. Could have been. Uh, I saw crown chicken in New York, Popeyes. so. Oh, okay. All right. And New I'm Jersey, sure so there's in every more than one crown chicken. Oh, absolutely. I, if, if Worcester shocked. can have 12 crown chickens, I'm sure. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's uh, a great franchise. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it's a franchise. It is. That's for sure. Um, but then Billy realizes this isn't Gizmo. Ah! So he's like, we have to go back to uh, the future. Right. <laughs> and oh, It's no, your Dave's Gizmo, gonna, Marty. It's your crash. Gizmo. Huh? What? <laughs> it looks like you're fighting over there. No, no, no fighting for me. No, I was just mm. doing a little stretch on the side. Oh, some butt stretches? No, okay. no, no, none of those. <laughs> none of those. He does that before. Ooh. Really wakes up the sphincter. Oh, oh okay. gross. I get it primed <laughs> and ready. <laughs> I bet you do. Uh, they go back to the building and uh, stuff happens. Yeah, uh, this is when stuff the happens. Higher movie goes get crazy. crazy and the movie ends. I don't know. All That's the, the end. Have yeah. a good night. All of the gremlins are eating like Froyo at obviously yeah. it's after midnight. Yeah. And so why is there so many people eggs. in this building after midnight? Dude, this is it's, 24 it's hour New entertainment. York, man. It's the city that never sleeps. It's the city that always eats froyo at midnight. That's right. It, it, MMs. Are these peanut butter cups all natural? This is really good uh, froyo. Really good. It's gotta be. <laughs> really good. There's no preservatives. Really good. And. But there's really still. Good. Mogwise at this point. <laughs> until they eat the froyo, I guess that's what makes them into gremlins. That's right. And but Billy finds Gizmo somehow, right? Where is because Gizmo? He goes, no, no, he, he, he doesn't, doesn't find him for a long time. Oh. So yeah, Gizmo, that's true. Because Gizmo, so, oh, he has he, he has the bad Mogwai, and he goes to I forget why, but he goes he, like he underground was trying to, to like uh, chop up what the he was fence trying to go somewhere. What he was trying to do was there was like the big water pipe for the yeah. sprinkler system. He was oh, he trying to, to deactivate it yeah. that way. In case if the sprinklers went off, they would multiply. So he's trying to prevent that. But then 
uh, friggin' limo driver from Blank Check comes in. He's like, <laughs> "Hey, yeah, uh, hey, uh, I'm the neighbor in the burbs, and uh, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rent a cop." You know what you don't have? S T Y L E style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm a cop. Bang bang. <laughs> and then uh, he like grabs the mogwai from Billy, but of course the mogwai bites his nose off like a Taiwanese whore. And to, you to Chris Farley, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like starts freaking out and shooting everything in sight. This cop's the best. I love him. Uh, they shoot a lot of things, and nobody bullets gets shot. Don't hit anything. That's One right. gremlin gets shot because he like has a bunch of bullet holes and like drinks water, and they all spray out yeah. for a comedic effect. Yeah, doesn't it kill does, him though. No, he's totally fine. I, I even Just think that exact wound. same thing happened in the first movie too. If I recall. really, I think so. Oh, but. maybe I don't know. Uh, oh, but also, so back at Billy's apartment, uh, this is when we see um, Dick Miller comes in because he's visiting New York. He's like the best part of the movie. PTSD from the previous movie. (laughs) Right. He's like, I'm not crazy. Yeah. Post traumatic gremlin disorder. Uh, And then he wants to stay at Billy's house, but he's like, oh, no, gremlins and stuff. Uh, And that's it. I just want to say that. uh, Yeah, they send him away. They'll show up later. Yeah. um, So he's in New York City. Because they go back to the the building. Um, So when Googly eyed. Gremlin gets away. The other three or four gremlins who've already eaten after midnight have already made their cocoons. Yeah, like right above where they're at. And Billy gets arrested because he's, you know, broke into the water room, the water main room, whatever. And in the time from his arrest to when he gets released, the, uh, the gremlins... Get loose. What are you guys looking at? You're like looking Ooh, behind me. He's a visitor. <laughs> we had oh. a, yeah, the the uh, uh, the president for Python Force yeah. is over here. <laughs> Ooh. I guess sorry, I should show him some respect. Right. And once they hatch, that's when hilarity ensues. Uh yeah, what? like like uh, Gizmo <laughs> being tortured through the next two thirds of the movie. That's right. Yeah, what they like that? electrocute him and I don't think they, they run him over him. with a toy train. Yeah, they run him over with toy train. And he uses Velcro to like pull yeah, off. Yeah, there's his a fur. big Lego. Yeah, Gizmo, Gremlin. Yeah, Gremlin. They just they're really trying to break Gizmo, but he and won't he get, break. And he gets broken and starts a war. Turns into <laughs> turns into Rambo. What's he say? What's his quote? Gizmo's quote? To, to no, start, the Rambo quote. Oh, Ra- yeah, Rambo's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you want to be the war, if you want to be the war, you have to be the war or something like that. <laughs> to go Rambo. to war, you have to be the war. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to be the man, you know? <laughs> to beat the man, you got to be the man. And then Damn it, the man. It's all kind of blurry from here. I just know... Well, this is where they start just like doing... Crazy, Goofy crazy stuff because they show up to the um, the woman's cooking show where she's just, just getting progressively drunk because she's oh, like, she's the some best. people use one teaspoon of cooking wine, but I just drink the whole bottle. Well, it's yeah. like everything that she said where she's all like, I'm going to cook these these new legs and uh, <laughs> it's just, everything she said is just goofy. She's just like, her she's speech is yeah, getting yeah. more and more slurred. And she's that's awesome. where but we also meet the cameraman. Yeah. Oh yeah, who's he's great. a Japanese tourist. Yes, who's just he's taking Long pictures Duck of Dong, everything. Who's yeah. um, I said his name earlier, but now I can't remember. He, he, he's the he's the wheel of fish guy in UHF. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's awesome. Stupid. And but so it's also during this time that Billy is trying to convince um, Clamp's right hand douchebag man that there's gremlins in the building that I, need to evacuate. I think he's whatever. like the head of security, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I think he's his right hand man. Well, but he's like just well, I mean, you know keeps his head of security, security room, thing. right? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Anyhow, because of the way like they interact later yeah. in the movie. Um, but he's in the, everyone in the security rooms 
like, making fun oh, of Billy because yeah. he's like, he's like we gotta get out of here. There's night and you can't. You, they need bright light to kill him. Yeah, and they're whatever. going through like everything that like any fan who had seen the first movie would be right. like, which Wait I a thought was a great these, idea. These rules, you know, these rules if are they really go good. into a different time zone and eat something. Do they know it's? Yeah, a different yeah. time like, zone. What if he gets like a sesame seed stuck in his tooth at ten thirty at night? But then you know it gets unstuck at twelve thirty. Is he still turned into a gremlin because it, technically he didn't? And then ah, and then the gremlin yeah. pops out of the controls and starts <laughs> killing everybody. It, it's kind of like how when the movie first started, even us, we kind of talked about it. We were all like, you know, what if somebody spit on Gizmo? Yeah, is that yeah. water? You, you know, you know what is Gizmo water? What's or? not water? You know well, what I mean? They really do a lot of different stuff, like Froyo Pepsi versus Pepsi. Froyo. Oh yeah, that didn't do anything. It to didn't them. do anything yeah. except they ate after midnight, so they turned yeah. into gremlins. Right. Um, but they were like drinking alcohol later. Yeah, right. And um, I mean, what about all like the little liquid concoctions yeah, in the yeah, science exactly. lab? Wouldn't yeah. those do it too? But they I drank mean, it though, so that's maybe different. It didn't get on their. But it gets outside. Skin. I don't know. Is well, they drink it like know. Cookie Monster eats cookies, so that's they were just true. essentially kinda, pouring right. it on themselves. <laughs> yeah. Or even like there was one time near the end where they're having like their big party, and one of them takes one of those seltzer water dispensers and like shoots it at the other one. Oh and, yeah. I don't Nothing know. He seemed, to him he seemed fine. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, Maybe because it's carbonated. Maybe it has to be fresh water. Well, that's what I mean, like, what, is it fresh? It has to be distilled. Like, what what kind of water does it have to be to make them multiply? Yeah. What if you threw them into the ocean? It has to be bubbling yeah. water. Salt water. <laughs> what about salt right. water? Right. I mean, Can they drown? Because they breathe air. That's true. Maybe they multiply, uh, but like if you but held they just one like down in the water line. Well, yeah. like in the first in the first <laughs> movie, the one of them takes a cannonball into a swimming pool at the YMCA. And he just psh, bo- totally bubbles into a million uh, gremlins. gremlins. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe he but just he held wasn't his being breath. held down. No, no, no. But I mean, was he if holding his breath during the whole no, time? No. Can you forcefully drown a gremlin? Is the question. Ah, uh, there's so good, many gremlin yeah. questions. But that's I what know. I liked about this scene. Because we would it's... like to hear your gremlin theories. <laughs> Please send them to the VHS Bandits at gmail.com or send us a message on Facebook. Because there's so many like definite gremlin loopholes, and they bring them up like people are gonna say this shit. So let's just get it out of the way. Like we don't fucking know, and you're gonna die by way of gremlin if you even bring this up. So yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's that's make fun the of it, right and there. then you'll hopefully get mauled by Which an actual gremlin. I thought it was very smart because <laughs> it's basically like it doesn't fucking matter because there's gremlins. One thing I want to also point it's a out, movie oh, dickle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One thing I want to point out, which is really kind of weird, is uh, so there's this uh, Grandpa Munster character. Um, I, I can't remember what his the name Crip is. Meister? Grandpa. Yeah. So yeah, gr- yeah. So Grandpa, right? So he has a horror host TV show that's being recorded and, and, and aired on the clamp tv network so there's a little scene where uh they're like shooting an episode of his show and his sidekick on the show is a little green dragon monster <laughs> and the crazy thing folks is i kid you not this is a complete coincidence not a ripoff at all uh all three of us uh used to do a horror hor- uh, a horror host tv show on our local access station called creepy castle and uh, it's a show where I played this character called the Cryptmeister. Toll Man over here played a little green puppet named uh, Warren. Na- named Warren. Um, and there was this sleazeball guy. The landlord. Uh, th- th- no, no, no. There's a sleazeball guy who ran a video store next door that Kevbot played. Who It doesn't really apply to this story, but I mean, <laughs> just the fact that... Um, our it, characters are Cryptmeister and Warren, the the weird kind of spooky guy, and a the vampire dragon and a dragon. Yeah, yeah. And, and when I was watching this the a few weeks ago, I was like, "Holy shit, this is exactly like Creepy Castle." And I yeah. sent you a video. Yeah, right. I like I again at that point I hadn't seen this movie in a million years, right. and it was a complete fluke that when I came up with the idea of Creepy Castle, that I mean, like it was just I I, I had no uh, it, there was no influence of Gremlins two when I created. The Creepy Castle stuff. Creepy Which Castle means- isn't a spinoff <laughs> of Gremlins 2 original <laughs> content? I wish. No, no, it's, it's not the, the, the even newer batch, you know? In, in no way affiliated to real people or places. Or <laughs> yeah, no. I would concepts. love it if the Cryptmeister was in Gremlins 2. That would have been great. <laughs> ooh, ooh, all these Gremlins, man. What are we going to do? I want to be a news reporter. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of funny, you know what I mean? Um, so I just wanted to point that out. 
So well, Grandpa Vampire takes over the news yeah. because that's what he wanted to be a newscaster, not some cheese ball sci fi horror host. I would rather goes be the on horror at two host in the morning. Likewise. Yeah, I would so much rather yeah. be the and horror host. And he's friends with Billy for some reason because why not? Who cares? There's gremlins. Uh, who matter. would not want to be friends with? <laughs> well, the funny thing is, outside of doing the show, he still dresses exactly the same and never changes his makeup or That's, his outfit. Nobody leaves this building. It's yeah. this takes space takes place over the span of two days. Yeah. And like just to show nobody leaves the building. How Everyone's quickly this gremlin thing can escalate. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 That's right. It gets crazy real quick. Um where are we? So the the whole place is getting infested with gremlins. They did a, a an evacuation, so most of the people are out of the building. But there's still people in there, and they're and, and at still the same being time, attacked. yeah. And one of the most pivotal moments I find to be in the movie is the part where I mean, at first it was great to get some of the some of the gremlins that kind of look different, but now they really get different when they go into the Christopher Lee's science lab and there's just all these test tubes of like different like abilities and stuff and each one drinks a different one and they get a different thing so like one of them drinks a you know th- there's just a little emblem on a on a test tube that it's like a picture of a spider they drink it turn to a spider would the same thing happen if a human drank it he i don't know a spider human? right spider you know right huh. or, or but, like, what or like, is that spider juice for exactly or, or do you like because, spider juice? because he's christopher lee and he's Crazy we need yeah. spider juice, or the, or even any of the other ones like the. I mean, you know, the, yeah, there's the one with the brain juice. on it. The one where <laughs> yeah, if you drink it, you one. turn into vegetables. Yeah. Right. That's what V8. purpose does that serve? <laughs> I don't know. It's Become the Jack vegetable Lillane. man. Get all <laughs> your vitamins stuff. with vegetable man. You I don't know. Songs. Yeah, Jolly yeah, Green Giant, right? Exactly. So, exactly. Get Except his face made out of yeah peas and carrots and and that's the scariest villain of all. So, I mean... <laughs> but yeah, there's one that has, he, he drinks the, the brain bar. stuff, and then Christopher Lee's like, that's not the brain hormones, is it? Oh, no. And then he becomes super brainy smart gremlin. Mm, indeed. He sounded indeed. exactly like one of the dinosaurs in Lost Cops. in Dinosaur City that we watched recently. Who also sounded like... Robin Lee. My good man. <laughs> and... The- Who was voiced by Felix from The Odd Couple. Yeah. Just crazy. Not Jack Lemon. Not Jack Lemon. A couple TV show. Yeah. The first TV show. Not the other <laughs> Lemon. The other guy. What? There's the new, new, new odd couple TV show. The what? one with the guy from Friends? Yeah. And uh, the Matthew Perry? Yeah. Nobody. I would watch that. Nobody. No. What? I would watch that. It's not good. Thomas Lennon's in it, Thomas right? Thomas Lennon, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then I gotta watch, I'm going to watch that. I that's mean, my problem. I luck. like shows that, that no terrible. one else likes, and that's why they get canceled. Okay. Well, then you must love having the the, the Fox basic, programming basic channels. Yes. Like I do ABC, love Fox NBC. programming. I mean, seriously. I, I, this is me, but like... Greg the Bunny. I mean, Titus. Well, yeah. But I mean... Family Guy when I'm it was on I'm talking about modern... Sh- I mean, who the hell still watches... Real television? NCIS, CIU, SUV, ABC, one, two, three. Who the <laughs> hell? Surprise. Who the hell watches that garbage? And then, like, there's all those Whoa. other shows. There's, there's the Meet the Goldbergs and uh, friggin' Straight Off the Boat. Nope, all. people do. Who Somebody's the watching it. Fuck watches basic channel TV shows today. Who the fuck Lots watches. I'm why do you Death think Stalker, Warrior from Hell. Why do you think there's like 80 seasons <laughs> of The Bachelor? There's way more people watching The Bachelor is still a show that, watching that, that is on. Than no, no, no. no, no. Lots see, of three. The, no I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not like... That's reality a reality TV show. That's different. Different. Nobody man. watches sitcoms No, today, they, right? they do though. I don't know. Oh, they, man. They like, they I mean, really like How the hell is Modern Family so popular? Who the hell watches that stuff? Modern Family is a pretty funny show. Yeah. Oh my god! Have you ever I mean, seen I it? don't watch it when it's on, but like, if it hits we Netflix, cool. I watch it. Like, there's another one that's uh, I, I don't even know, but it, there's a lot of those shows that I just I don't know. Whatever, they're that's not just as me. good as Gremlins Two. We can all agree on that. Yeah. If Gremlins Two had a Phil Dunphy, that's his name, right? From Modern Family, the dad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> then, you talking about Ed O'Neill? No, no. Ed the, O'Neill would be a great addition to Gremlins Two, though. Pretty good. Yeah. No, the dad character from uh modern family not he's the relevant. best part of the show that's not ed o'neill <laughs> that's not ed o'neill. the father on the show he's like the grandfather okay actually and uh now nah, we don't have to get into modern family yeah. I think okay it's a pretty yeah, funny yeah, show. whatever uh i nobody like a lot of sitcom wa- stuff nobody who likes 
Gremlins 2 and collects VHS probably likes any of those shows. So. Well, I mean, we just... Uh, uh, except uh, for Kevin. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so there's a bat gremlin. Yeah. And electricity gremlin. And he drinks electricity juice. And there's a gender swap um, juice. <laughs> Is that the juice that made him a lady? Yeah. Oh, I thought he just was a lady gremlin. No, no. no there was a there was a bottle of of gender juice on the ground. Oh, gender yep. juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but see that's glass really weird juice. because we talked about this. Gremlins are asexual. Yeah. Because you just you pour just pop out liquid out on them and and, you get and they yeah you get more gremlins. But now you're getting into different genders. Mm hmm. It's it's crazy. What's that all about? I can't say a couple things. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have decided. You know what? We're now in the uh, uh, the the, the uh, kind of like the WWF, which is not, you know WWE, where they used to be all like the Attitude Era. As of now, we're we're the real uh, PG WWE era right now. Oh, I'll so. say fuck. No, I mean it's like not... no, I'm talking about the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I won't say that. Just for this one episode, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to avoid to saying two words. And if you guess those two words, <laughs> send us in with two words you think that he's talking about that, that he overuses it quite a bit on our show. <laughs> send it to the VHS at gmail.com. Maybe we'll send you, you a little we'll something. We'll send you a prize. Yeah. <laughs> our disappointment. <laughs> um, the words that, that we're pretty sure why. Probably, oh, well, 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 whatever. Why, why probably most women don't yeah, listen yeah, to our right. show. The so. Women love this show. Um, Says the guy who said he had VD twice. You, okay, now I have to explain on every. Are you going to bring up my VD joke on every <laughs> podcast? So now I have to explain <laughs> that I don't have VD. Oh, we just want to make it. sure you're getting <laughs> tested regularly. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What if it comes I back? Tic Tacs. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> Oh my God! See now, you, you, that's on your list. You can't say that I have VD <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay, all right. Now it's the really now it's the rated G show. <laughs> anyway, so Uh-oh. there's a lady gremlin. There's a gremlin oh, with fat. gremlin with boobies. <laughs> Dane's got a who uh, <laughs> who chases around the uh, she wants to fuck the, a dude. The second second banana to Mister Mister Clamp. Clamps. Mister Mister. Crimps, Mr. Mr. Clamps, Mr. Clamps, Clamps. who, by the way, yeah. is a mixture of Donald Trump and Ted Turner. That's like the influence uh, for this guy's character. And I would say crazier, but crazier. You don't really have. He's to. actually like very likable in this movie. He is. Yeah. Like no, he's a good. A yeah, he's yeah. good character. Yeah. I, I just mean like he's very eccentric. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. He, He's definitely like on his own planet. Yes. As far like he only thinks And it's made of money. Yes. <laughs> he only thinks in like dollar bills and like every cuz there's like one scene where uh he's in his office with Billy and he's like, "Oh my god, Billy, do you know how many lives in there? Human lives? The liability for lawsuits is tremendous." Or just any time he could come up with some way that the public sees him as a hero. Right. Or, or yeah. anything that, anything that <laughs> can make him I get to use my secret good. exit. I could be yeah. the man who saves New York. That would be great press for me. <laughs> yeah. I like the way that sounds. Um, I'd so, work for him, would you? I would write. Not if not everything really, in the no. building talks to me. Yeah, that's and scary. And I'm constantly <laughs> being monitored. <laughs> it didn't look like morale was very high at Clamp Tower. Yeah, they true. wouldn't let you have Especially a plant at your incident. cubicle. That's right. Yeah, yeah I very high, about that. very high standards. That seems like more of douchebag guy though. That's than, true. But he gets chased Clamp. with uh, Booby Gremlin. Yeah. And they get locked in a bathroom, and things might happen. Who I don't knows? know. We're not going into those theories. It was a glory hole in that bathroom. <laughs> That's a thing you said. Yes. Welcome to the glory hole. Please wash your hands. <laughs> Did you remember to finish? <laughs> um, Faster. So they like kind of keep coming up with these schemes of like how they can take down all the gremlins. Um, because they but like Bat keep- Gremlin escapes from the laboratory because Smart Gremlin injects him with anti sun juice. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, sunscreen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which um, and he leaves a perfect bat symbol, right? For bat Batman symbol, yeah. Because it's a Warner Brothers movie, so they can so use they it. can do that. Yeah, and it's and it's this is 1990, and the first Michael Keaton Batman movie came out in 1989. So that's right. There you go. Yeah, Gotta cash in on that. Any nerds like, oh, it's got the Batman symbol on it. I'm in. 
<laughs> That's well, the starting point for this movie. I love. How, I'm sure that was in the commercial. I love how Bat Gremlin just instantly goes towards Dick Miller. Like I'm, there's a million <laughs> people like a on the street, and yeah, it just gravitates towards Dick Miller. Dick Miller's checking out like some cathedral and his wife's like, oh, this is beautiful. And he's like, hey, it looks like some crap out of the Middle Ages. Some uh, medieval stuff here. Eh? Hey, Quasimodo, you home? And then he gets uh, attacked by the back gremlin. Yeah. Who, he has a really good instinct. He's just like, I'll just throw him in this concrete being poured and there's no like foreman or construction guy being like, <laughs> hey, what are you doing? With that back gremlin. Yeah. It's against union regulations. That's... <laughs> Did you? Did someone tell you to stop cutting? <laughs> yeah, right. You got gremlin in my concrete. You got concrete in my gremlin. Which you might I, be onto something. Un- unfortunately, I think the bat gremlin. I would like to see more of it, but it was kind. Of, I guess all it, its purpose was to was to get uh, Dick Miller into the building, and, and that's all it needed. To yeah, do, they but they were cool mostly gremlin. like one trick ponies. The like gremlin, oh, the yeah. special gremlins, yeah. yeah. Except like, for the brainy one, because you can kind of because he's smart. And yeah. You can use him. They, um, the grandfather uh, Dracula guy, yeah, interviewed him on the TV station, and he sang New York, New York, and in the end, and he was like being a pompous ass to Christopher Lee. He's probably one of the better gremlins. Yeah. So um, you see, like all those different gremlins and uh they try and figure out like how they can take them down so they have to figure out how to make them think it's nighttime because at night they're gonna escape the building so they can oh, just take yeah. over new york right mm-hmm. which new york is a great place for those gremlins not only because they're crazy but it's surrounded by water yeah. all the rats you can eat and they'll, yeah. just, they'll just fit right in yeah plus hot dog stands and all that stuff because clearly they don't give a fuck about their diet. No, just mm-hmm. eating froyo and drinking beer and <laughs> this vegetable, vegetable guy. People. <laughs> vegetable guy might be a little health conscious. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he's a vegetarian, right? Or he might be or, a cannibal. Oh, yeah, he would be a cannibal then. I don't know. Ah, Ooh, yeah. what a conundrum for vegetable nice. gremlin. Too uh, bad he died. Bat gremlin turns into a gargoyle after he gets. Cementified, he flies up to the top of the church, turns into a gargoyle, and then Dick Miller's like, "Oh, gremlins are in the fucking city! I gotta kick their asses!" But that's when Billy is talking to Clamp about how he, his plan to like, you gotta make it look like it's nighttime. We gotta set the clocks back in the building because gremlins can read time, I guess. Whatever. And that's when Clamp's like, "I can use my secret exit." And then outside, Dick Miller's like, I got to get in there. I know there's these monsters in there, and they're trying to kill people, and da-da-da. And a cop's like, all right, you're not going anywhere. And he's like, I'm not crazy! (laughs) And he flips out on the cop, and obviously he won't let him inside. But then Clamp comes out of his secret passage, which is this, like, potted plant on the street that rises from the ground. It's super, like, spy Yeah, it's very, like, uh, what is it? Uh... That show with it's like Inspector Gadget, but like Dragnet? Get Smart. Oh yeah, it's very like yeah, Get yeah, Smart. Why did I say Dragnet? I meant Get <laughs> it's Smart. Nothing like Dragnet yeah. at all. Uh, and then so Dick Miller goes into his secret hideout, and that's how he infiltrates the building and teams up get with Billy. These gremlin jerks <laughs> ruined my life, taking over my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, people think I'm crazy. His wife is so sweet. She baked an apple pie and brought it to New York City for her daughter, even though someone sat on it. Yeah. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. I I bet it still tastes pretty good. I don't know. (laughs) Tastes like butt. (laughs) It tastes like like farts. Tastes like bus bus farts. Butt on the bus. 48 hours. on the bus. Is that the worst of bus farts? Oh, God. In my apple pie. (laughs) You you know a lot about farts, and if you say bus farts are the worst, I believe you. Have you ever been on a Greyhound bus for like more than 10 seconds? Luckily enough, I have not. You want to fart yourself to death. Maybe on the jazz band trip. (laughs) You know, I I would always expect my McDonald's apple pies to smell like bus farts, but... (laughs) Thank they God they down. don't. At least most they of the time, more like taxi farts. Taxi farts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so Dick Miller's inside, and I don't know how he meets up with Billy, but he does somehow. 
They all meet up. It's just and how the plot works out. Is this when the interview's going on with uh, Smart Gremlin? It's around that time. Yeah, around yeah. that time. Uh, but the whole thing is they have to get all the gremlins to the lobby because it's all windows. So they put up this big sheet that looks like nighttime, nighttime, which has <laughs> got, got like two buildings moon. and big stars and a moon. And they're just like, get that thing up there. Be really and careful. It's nowhere near as big as it needs to be to cover the entire <laughs> yeah. building. It's a it big covers building. maybe like two stories. Big clamp building. He's a He's an yeah, important guy. One of the biggest in the city. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Um, but when but I guess it works. When they want to drop the sheet and have the sun come in and kill all the gremlins, what happens? It becomes overcast. No sun. How are you going to kill some gremlins with no sun? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you got a problem. That is a problem. So what do they do? They um, get the gremlins all soaked. And you might think that uh, you know that would make more gremlins, and it does. But <laughs> this is where the genius of Billy comes in and uses the gremlin abilities against the other gremlins, because who is trapped in the phone system? Electro Lemon. Oh, Electro Lemon. Electro John Lemon. <laughs> The gremlin who's made out of pure electricity. <laughs> that one. And electricity plus water is not a good time. Plus gremlins. Plus but gremlins. The gremlins are already in the lobby anyway to sing New York, They're New York freaking with their partying. gremlin leader. Like it's 1999 and the world's about to end. Yeah. Or they're about to take over the world. And during the interview, I wanted to say that the smart gremlin, like his whole thing... Like, he actually, like, had um, a reason to attack the city and whatever. He's like, we want civilization just like you humans in New York. We want to get to Broadway shows. We have to figure out how to buy tickets. Oh, yeah. And blah, blah, blah. He and wants then, to be cultured, and he's like, right. look at this gremlin that came up right next to him. And he's, like, just and being like, shoots him in the face. Yeah, just pulls out a gun and, and uh, shoots him. And he's just like... Just like that. We want to be more cultured. And it's just like, like, was that cultured? What the no. Hell? And that's where we need to be. <laughs> uh, if only all the other gremlins talked like that had <laughs> the brain juice, what would, we would have be happened? fucked? N- really? Yeah. Would we? Because I thought that brain... there, he's still vicious and he'll kill. Uh, okay, that's true. He like, didn't. He didn't kill any humans though. But he wants. And he to. was being he civilized to towards, to Broadway shows towards and kill Grandpa. People. That's yeah. only to get his message out to the public. It was just as a PR move, guys. Okay. To make to try to assimilate into Manhattan culture that's, that's and then fair. pounce. Gotcha. You know he just mean? really wanted to catch a show. And you know, tickets go quick. Yeah. They're expensive. He doesn't have money. Although he could get money. He's pretty smart. He should do the thirty for thirty deal. It's pretty good. What's that? Yeah. You I don't get know a Broadway is. show for thirty bucks if you're thirty years or younger. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> if well, you're I in can't the, do that for much New longer. So. Better hurry up. Yeah. Uh, one thing I thought was interesting was that uh, like the first movie had like the one main gremlin, the stripe one, who was yeah. like the leader of the gang. This one doesn't have that. You I know wouldn't what I mean? say that he's a smart gremlin. I think the smart gremlin is the, is the, leader, the, leader, the, yeah. the leader of the pack. Because he's the one oh, that... Well, a assembles them, them and gives the speech and everything in the lobby and starts the song. And I don't know. There yeah, were like four the gremlins who were really number. like they showcased. Not leadership I don't want to say skills. a lot. No, no, not even leadership skills. But they kind of kept going back to them. Like yeah. the googly eyed one, like would just be in everything. I think that's like the first four, the original yeah, four, were always like were the showing up. Original gremlins, I yeah, think, is the only reason they kept well, popping one, up. One thing they I kind of spent more money on those gremlin suits. One thing I thought was kind of disappointing was like how you mentioned that there wasn't a whole lot of Gizmo in this movie. Yeah. And my thought on that too was like, so Gizmo in the first movie, like doesn't do anything. He, he like scours and kind of hides in a backpack. A good majority of the movie. He really doesn't, even though he drives a little car, he doesn't really do much yeah. at all in the first movie. He, he's kind of like there a lot, but he doesn't like defend himself at all. And in the sequel, it no, no, number two, no. Much either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. I mean, he's basically being tortured a good majority of the movie, and then finally he like turns into a badass, and he's like, 
do, pu- you know, pumping some iron yeah. and he's doing all, and I'm thinking like, sweet, G- Gizmo is going to like kick some ass now at the end of the movie and he's got his little like Rambo bandana on and stuff. Yeah. He's got a little crossbow. And he shoots one gremlin. That's the thing. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, it's great that he, he took out the spider gremlin, but I thought he was going to like do some serious you know, I thought he was programmed for damage, <laughs> right? I, I thought he was going to do some serious nice stuff. It would be nice to have, like, that, you know, that mm. one good moment in the Star Wars prequels where uh, Yoda, like, flips out and starts kicking ass. Right. Like, if Gizmo had that moment, yeah. that would be super he awesome. didn't. No. Really thought Gizmo was going to do some more ass kicking at the end of this movie. I thought, like, maybe he would be the one to, like... You figure out the way to, to kill all the shitty right, gremlins. Right, like but, infiltrate the gremlins or something. Yeah. But all the gremlins hate Gizmo. I don't know why. And why For is no Gizmo reason. the only nice gremlin? Because they're jerks and Gizmo's all nice. How did Gizmo get so nice? He had purified water. Uh, when he popped out of yeah. some other gremlins' Who back. knows? I don't know. Yeah, it must have been holy water. Many, Who knows? many <laughs> theories. Uh, he was fresh water and all the other gremlins were salt water. Ew. Yeah. That's why they're so salty. Dirty Charles River water. Oh, we also have to say, so like in the middle, I forget where, I think it was during the interview on TV or right before it, the tape started to fuck up. And I was like, oh, "Oh, yeah, this is the part that's made for home video. Let's talk about that real quick. So yeah, the tape starts to fuck up and get weird. And I was like, oh man, it's the tape's fucked up. And I was like, okay, it's going to be a good part because when the tracking is messed up, that means like there's either boobs or an explosion coming <laughs> so up. Good, yeah. <laughs> somebody's watched that part of the tape right, so much. Exactly. Yeah. And then it starts fucking up real bad. And we're like, oh no. And then it turns out to be the fucking gag in the movie. And I was like, ah, Joe Dante, you got me. Because <laughs> the one that I watched a few weeks ago didn't have this because it had the theatrical one. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What a kooky idea. Which, again, it fucks up, but it's like the projector in the movie theater. And yeah. obviously, I'm not watching it, movie theater. Hulk Hogan. But where, as we're watching an actual VHS from 20 years ago or whatever, I thought it was real and it got me. And then it turns into the gremlins like doing uh, static sock puppets. One's a bunny and then one's Abraham Lincoln. You're like, four sports, 70 <laughs> And then they enter a John Wayne movie in their cowboy gremlins. I think that was pretty cool. That was, I love that part. I, and that guy's uh, impression of, uh, John Wayne? of John Wayne was, was really, really good. good. It was like, yeah, I'll get back to your movie now. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty clever. Yeah, they have a shootout with John Wayne. It's pretty good. Your but, thoughts, Kevin? They all died. The gremlins? Yes. Yeah. yeah they oh, no. It was, no, it was very entertaining. Them. It was a great uh, way to splice it into the home video. But you would rather have the theatrical one. Well, as a Hulk Hogan fan. Yeah. Yes. yes. I also like that one better. Just because I, his whole joke where he's like, you know, hey, let me tell you something, Gremlin Brothers. People people come down here and they pay their good money on cold soda, hot popcorn, and they came down here. So don't make me go up to that projection booth, brother. And it's just, it's cool because he flips his shit. Yeah. And it's just, it's just funny because like popcorn goes everywhere and soda goes everywhere. And Hulkamania it's just is running over, wild on the gremlins. Top. Yeah, it's over the top. You know, he's like, what are you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on gremlins too? You know? And this one's just like channel flips. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And it's good. I mean, it didn't take away from the movie. It was very cool, and it totally got all of us. Yeah. But But we'd we'd rather see Hulk Hogan. Honestly, I like this one better, because I watched the Hulk Hogan one not too long ago, and it's good because, like, the... the usher like comes out of the theater and he's like, uh, Mr. Hulkster, we have some gremlins in the projector booth. Yeah. Gremlins in the projector booth. But I mean, it's just, I like Hulk Hogan being crazy, but like it fits for Hulk the time Hogan. period though. That's the thing. It, yeah. It I, really, f- I feel that fit better for the time period. Again, this fits for the home video because it's like you're watching it on TV. Probably the TV version, they use this. But it, although actually maybe they don't because don't it probably know. people think probably not. oh this channel's fucking up I'm gonna change <laughs> right. channel. But I thought like watching it it's darn like, TNT it's, it's like Hulk Hogan at his best acting in Santa with muscles. You know what I mean? That's what it felt Which like. Which is his best Which, acting? Yeah. So it's like all right, brother Joe Dante, I give you one take and then I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what it felt like. So I don't know. That's yeah. the, what put it off for me, and that's what made this one better. Plus, I haven't seen this version in who knows how long, because I d- forgot that they did a home video section for it. Hmm. 
<sighs> it was great, great addition though. It was yeah. good. Joe was Dante fun. really knows how to like break the fourth wall and do it well and not take you out of the movie mm-hmm. completely. It's so good. Right. So, so at the en- end of the movie, all the gremlins melt slash get electrocuted. They die. Yeah, because uh, Bernie, what's his name? Bernie in the movie? Who? Dick Miller. Uh, I don't remember. He's I saw him as Dick Miller. It's Murray Futter, Futterrucker or something. something like that. Murray something. Well, yeah, because they spray him with, with water Futterman. and they get electrocuted. And yeah, that's how they all Because they shoot. I don't, I, I don't. Did you say they shoot Electro Guy yeah. Adam? Yeah. Oh, okay. yep. Sorry. Electro right. Man, Ernest P. Worrell. So Clutch Man, Clamps, <laughs> Claws, <laughs> Clutch man whatever. Clamp. Comes back in with the SWAT with team. With the SWAT team. And, and he's and dressed he's, in all SWAT gear for some yeah. reason. <laughs> he slips in gremlin Because he guts. has enough money where he does whatever he wants. Well, he does say, we're not getting the cops involved. We've got our own security. We're going to handle this internally because right. it would be bad press or whatever. So right. I guess he does have his own SWAT team. Yeah. Hey, he built that empire with his own two hands, and he's not afraid to get dirty. That's right. I mean, he shredded a gremlin Ooh, in an that was industrial... A good scene. That was Shredder, really gross. Which just had gremlin guts everywhere. Uh, we don't have to elaborate because that's exactly what it yeah. happens. A gremlin attacks him. He throws him in an, an industrial shredder. It's crazy. Uh, he sees Billy, who he now knows very well, calls yeah. him Bill. And he's like, oh, we're going to do all these things and you're going to get a lot of money. I'm going to take exactly you to remember. Bugaboo Creek, Bill. Yes. And uh, that's the end of the movie. Not exactly. Oh, that's His right. very last scene, Clamp's right-hand man is locked oh, up yeah, in the yeah, bathroom yeah, yeah. with the very last remaining gremlin. Because he calls Clamp on the phone, and he's like, oh, I need some help. I'm trapped and in the bathroom. And Clamp's like, well, yeah, why don't you take a day off? You take half a day off. Yeah. <laughs> half a day off once we're running. back into fully operational building <laughs> yeah. mode. So he decides he's going to get all hoochie-coochie with... Lady Gremlin. Oh my god. Ooh la la. So it she almost opens gross. it up for a sequel. It, Where it, like it, a gremlin it, it, human well, offspring. Well, as multiple different things that could happen. Kill They're me. in the bathroom. What if she ends up in the sink or in the toilet? Multiplies. Ooh. What, what if, if they, he comes on her? What if they have human what gremlin? If that's not the right kind of liquid to make them multiply. I don't know. What if what if she gives birth to human gremlin hybrids? Right, like right. Alien, would resurrection. Like alien Resurrection. Would right. they be the gross gremlins, or would they be Mogwai? Maybe. Uh, well, she's already a gremlin. That's true. So it's got to be. Yeah, a, but you yeah, never know. Gross gremlin, human Because hybrids. when the gremlins get wet, they produce more gremlins, not right. Mogwai. I feel That's like true. they would look exactly like the gross hybrid alien in Alien Resurrection, but green. Yeah. Right? Or they would just look like that guy with, like, big ears. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Who but yeah, knows? there you go. There's there's Gremlins right, three, the, Joe Dante. the even f- the, the the new the batch, newer batch, the oh, grosser <laughs> batch, the gross batch, right? Yeah. The batch of come. And uh, there you go, Gremlins two. That's that's a movie. Da, 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 Gremlins. Is- the theme song wasn't in this nearly enough. Yeah, and I it's agree. One of the best movie theme songs ever. Oh, <laughs> just, just real quick, I want to touch on this. I thought it was interesting. Was they. Like, there's that part in the first movie where Phoebe Cates is talking about how her father died in this big, oh, like, 10-minute-long yeah, 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 yeah. story. And they tried to go into it like a gag in this movie. And they're like, come on, we, we don't have time. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And I thought that was really clever. You know, yeah. they kind of, like, go back to that stuff. Like, it was right. interesting. So, because on, I feel like Phoebe Cates really didn't do much in this movie. Well, she didn't do no. a whole lot in the last one, but no. I mean, hey, you know, whatever. Um, hey, she's in it, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> what else do you want? I know, like, so this this movie's like six years apart or something. Yes, I think so. And so I know, like, the original Gremlins was like a surprise success, and they were like, "We need Gremlins too. We want a sequel." And Joe Tante is like, mm, "Man, what the hell am I going to do for a sequel to Gremlins? I'm going to go make Matinee or whatever," uh, which is an awesome movie, which I just bought at Savers and Mobile. Yeah. Um, so it's just been so long. And Joe Dante is just like, they're like, please just give us Gremlins 2. Just do whatever you want. And Joe Dante is like, I'm fucking do <laughs> spider gremlins and shit. And whatever crazy movie. shit I can come up with. And there's your Gremlins 2. Which is amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If it, only it, the Howling 2 had spider werewolves and electro yeah. werewolves. It, it's almost like how we were talking about earlier where 
here's a movie that breaks the mold from the first one and somehow turns out to be better than the original, which is so rare. You know what I mean? If yeah, kind of on go- par. Yeah, I mean, again, going back to that example of Alien and Aliens. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. So yeah. So, what do you say, guys? Are we getting some ratings? What are we doing here? Well, let's see. We already know it was directed by Joe Dante, who did the first Gremlins. Yep. He also did Small Soldiers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Joe right. Dante's yeah. amazing. And The Burbs, which oh, yeah. makes sense for yep. having... Uh, and The Howling. And The Howling, yeah. Yep. And the Looney Tunes Back in Action movie. Right, which I got to say, at the very beginning of this movie, there's no trailers on this. Uh, it starts off with a WB cartoon. It's... Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck like popping into the screen, uh, saying like, "Oh, here's a movie." Blah, blah, blah. And then Daffy Duck's like, "Oh, get the fuck out of here, Bugs! I want to be a spokesman for WB." And you know they do their shtick, and that's basically foreshadowing two Looney Tunes back in action like twenty, thirty years late after, because that's kind of the beginning premise of. That movie. When did that movie come out? Do you remember? Ooh, I don't know. I think I, wasn't that the same time as like Space Jam? Wasn't it around that same time? No, no this is after know. Space Jam. This was like because like mid maybe maybe late two thousands. Okay, fairly recent because Brendan. It was like really Brendan Fra- Fraser's doing this movie. It's yeah. like yeah, he hasn't been in a movie in a while. It was after okay. the Mummy series. Oh, uh, right. really? It's fairly. I want to say like 2013 maybe. I don't really? know. That late? That's probably why I'm I not never surprised. Saw it. 2010 to 2013, yeah. I'd say. It's wow. possible. I don't know. I Kooky. could look it up, but, but it's I'm actually a really good now. movie. I like it. It's on Netflix. Right. Go watch it. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Joke All right. Um, Sounds good. written partially written by Christopher Columbus. Did a lot of great oh, things. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, no I mean, way. he had a hand in it because he did the first one. So yeah. Goonies and Harry Potter and all kinds of stuff um, was also so, written by Charlie Haas, who did Matinee and Martians Go Home, and that's about it. Martians Go Home. That sounds familiar. I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't know. No. There's actually tons of facts that I'm not going to go over because I don't want to read through all of them. Mm. Um but the uh, filmmakers chose uh, Rambo as the character that Gizmo was going to uh, imitate um, because they got permission from Sylvester Stallone. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Um, they use a lot of different effects from a lot of different movies, um, like the melting of the... Uh, the witch? Uh, no, just some of the gremlins, like they use, they modeled the face after the Kraken from Clash of the Titans. Okay. Oh. Um, Leonard Malton in one of his uh, movie guide books um, never mentions that he was actually in the movie. Like he rated the movie, you know, Gremlins 2, and oh, he, right, he right, made right, a cameo right. in the movie. Yeah. But um, that was another like meta moment where in the TV studio, Leonard Malton's like, Gremlins is now on home video, and I have no idea why anyone would release this piece of garbage, yeah. the worst movie ever. And then he gets attacked and killed by Gremlins. <laughs> In his review, he uh, mentions gratuitous cameos, but he never <laughs> mentions himself. That's pretty hilarious. And he gave it uh, three out of four stars. Um, let's see. What are some other good ones? Do, 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 do. Oh, the um, aside from Mohawk, who's one of the main... Um, other Mogwais. There are three other um, Mogwais. There's Daffy, George, and Lenny. Daffy is one of the crazy ones, named after Daffy Duck. And then George and Lenny are both uh, throwbacks to Of Mice and Men, the John Steinbeck mm. novel. Oh. Interesting. That's a stretch. Never would have guessed. That's a, yeah. Yeah. That's a real stretch. That's, that's a real stretch. I wonder if Let's anyone like, caught on to watching Gremlins 2, like, oh, yeah, Of Mice and Men. There's a sample of action music that they took from the Burbs. Um, Faith No More is in it. Yeah. yeah. For like it did 10 have seconds. some kind of cool uh, music in it. Yeah. Let's see. Do, 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 do. When Gizmo first sees the janitor played by John Aston, he says Gomez. Oh. Didn't pick up oh. on that. Me neither. Um, Joe Dante prefers this one to the original. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yes, that's a wow. thing. Interesting. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of other kind of cool stuff. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's too many. 
You can go find out all those facts on your own, folks. Yeah. Or just go to IMDb. Yeah. That's where I get most of mine. All right. So <laughs> we'll get to the rating part. Uh, Amazon, out of five stars, what do you guys think this is rated? Four. Oh, I'm going to say 4.5. 4.5 is correct. Ooh. Ooh. Now, IMDb, which is a 10 point or a 10 star scale. What do you guys think? Dane, you go first oh, because boy. you always go after Chris. 9.5. 9.5? I'm going to say 7.5. 7.5. 6.3. Wait a minute. This is the VHS on Amazon? No, this is this is IMDb. IMDb. Oh, I'm sorry. What about yes? I'm sorry. Um, IMDb. Oh, friggin' two point five out of ten. Oh, you already got the answer. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> it was six point three. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, and this movie had no trailers. Just that Looney Tune thing. Yeah. Oh, it was released on the fiftieth anniversary of Bugs Bunny. All right. And that's kind of why they did this. And mm. in the dialogue, Daffy talks about how for fifty years Bugs has been oh, in the. Okay intro or whatever so yeah and they also kind of do a callback to that at the end of the movie too you know where porky pig does the you know that's all folks and daffy's like no i'm gonna do it because <laughs> he's smug right. um all right you guys you now. Some insecurities. uh let's see out of 10 mm, Vegetable gremlins? No. <laughs> Ten. I can't think of any. I can't think of a good Dick one. Miller's? Uh, just 10 out of 10 Mogwais. All right. Okay. Mogwais. <laughs> then you go. 10 fuzzy oh, Mogwais. Uh, 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 I don't think uh, there's any shaved Mogwais. I give. That's cruel. <laughs> well, they're not, they're not gremlins yet. There's just Mogwais. Right. I give gremlins two. 10 out of 10 Mogwais. Wow. Yep. I think this movie is yeah. phenomenal. So, would I you actually, rewind it? Oh, hell yeah, I would. It oh, wasn't yeah. rewound when we put it in. Yeah, cause actually, I don't, think I, I don't think I've watched it since I bought it 10 years ago. But yeah. still, wow. it, it's an insanely good, awesome movie. Super crazy, wacko. I love it. Of course, Phoebe Cates is in it, so hubba hubba. So, uh, it's good to me. Calm down, Dave. Calm down. <laughs> Whoa. Zip up. It's over. Uh, I just bought the original Gremlins in a puffy case. Ooh, yeah. fancy. Uh, yeah, I would give this 10 out of 10 Mogwais as well. Wow. I love this movie. Nice. It was amazing. So you would rewind it then? Absolutely. Nice, nice. I'm going to be different. Oh. Sorry, guys. Dude, you hate every movie we watch. I don't watch. hate every movie. Says just... the guy who watches basic basic channels TV shows. Whoa. Yeah. Who what doesn't... is elitist, Dane? Yeah. No, 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 no. He likes that, but he doesn't like the movies that much. It's like a flip-flop. <laughs> I mean, Listen, yeah. that's just <laughs> mindless, mindless TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. He's We're here to be to awfully opinion. critical of the VHS <laughs> tape. Yeah, this is art. Yes. By the way, I was really hoping that everybody out there on the internets, on the interwebs, would have voted for House of the Dead. Yeah, you'd <laughs> yeah. rather watch House of the Dead. I'd rather watch House of the Dead. You just gave this a 10 out of 10. 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gave Kremlins to a 10 out of 10, and you, before this, you were like, I don't know if I want to watch this. No, no, we no, should, no, no, we no, should no, watch, no. We should have watched uh, House of the Dead. It, just because it's like, so oh like, because I feel like everybody's seen Gremlins too, but nobody's Then why'd seen. you make it an option? <laughs> it was early in the morning. I had a bad migraine. I wasn't thinking, you know? <laughs> Well, I'm well we watched it. It's, Amazing this movie. episode is pretty much over, so it's, you know, no going back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm not what, watching what House of the Goddamn Dead. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a we'll have a, uh, a guest host. I for tell that. you what, if there's any, <laughs> yeah. if there's any movie, watch that, that when I'm on LA. If there's any movie that, that <laughs> we you, will, yeah, we're if, not going to include you in that one. If, if Thank there, you. If there are any movies that, that after you move that you think are horseshit and you don't want to watch, we'll get like House Jimmy, Jimmy, our super fan, or somebody in here. We'll do the <laughs> yeah, show with them. We'll get Todd Tizzle or I mean, the whole point someone. is to watch shitty movies. I'll watch. You don't want to watch House of the Dead. I don't. I don't want, want to watch House of the Dead. <laughs> I will, but I yeah, for the I same, have okay. in the past. Well then, the then, then we'll watch it, House of the Dead. <laughs> All yeah. right. In fact, maybe we'll make it our uh, our next one, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Mm? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. maybe. Okay. I'm not okay. against it. All right. Uh, 
So we'll, we'll call it now. <laughs> Episode 27 is going to be House of the Dead. All right, everybody. Look forward to the Uwe Boll classic that yeah. we talk about. Yeah. And if you don't like this movie, you can fight you Boll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, you can, you can box him yeah. <laughs> in the ring. So what's your rating, KevBot? I'm going to give it a 7.5. Whoa! That, yeah. That is a steep a right yeah. there. Yeah. Very why, critical, guys. Dude? Jeez, why? It was good. I, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I just like the first one better. So what would you give the first one? I would give the first one a nine out of ten. Oh, yeah. What did this one have that was that, or what was this one lacking in compared to the first one? Well, I mean, they kind of went a little more gimmicky on this okay. one because they do all the different ones, which is fine. But so you're saying I it's like Ninja Turtles it. Two: Secret of the Ooze? It's more like the Ooh, movie that doesn't exist, Ninja Turtles Three. Oh, that bad, huh? Dude, dude. Well, I'm not whoa, I'm not whoa, saying whoa, Gremlins I'm not saying Gremlins 2 <laughs> is the equivalent of Ninja but Turtles 3. As far as gimmicks go. Yeah, I don't know. So um yeah, so that's that's what I would give it. It's good. I would rewind it, but uh um, just I'm so sorry. I didn't know if we were keeping you late. No, it's okay. All right, yeah, we're, we're going to wrap up in like in like 1 minute. Okay. So, thanks dude. Getting kicked out. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the president, real quick. <laughs> Anywho, so it's good. I enjoyed it, but I just guess I guess I didn't enjoy it as much as you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Gonna go home and watch my daytime television sitcoms. <laughs> He's gonna watch his stories. That's right. Drink some tonic, watch the stories. That's yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Maybe have some bonbons. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Or some hard candy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was Gremlins, Gremlins 2, 2. The yeah. new batch. So the again, I, I bought this at uh at, at the st- at the at the rental store back in the day, but I'm sure you could find this real low cheap at eBay and yes. Amazon, right? So yes. I, I mean I don't have prices for you, sorry. I, I feel like I've definitely seen this at Savers, so you could probably get it for as low to, as a buck. Yeah. Around there. So <coughs> There you go. Because we had the fans decide I didn't really do any research up until we showed up here and said, oh, it's Gremlins 2. Yeah. So right. you folks at home can find us in all the ways that if this is not your first time listening, you already know how. You can like our page on Facebook. We're still only two likes away from 100 likes. <laughs> I feel like it's just pathetic saying it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so like, stop <laughs> saying that at this point. <laughs> no, because we want 100. If we get 100... I'll just make a fake account. And put, 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 no, <laughs> we can't do that. Because if we hit 100, we might do a giveaway. Yeah. Could be tapes. Oh, gotta love okay. Could be get, t-shirts. Right. Could, Could be a door nose. Because yeah. we do have t-shirts now. That's right. On Zazzle. Yep, I happen to be wearing one right now. Ooh, yeah. It's one of our. You got the first one. I, it just came in the mail today. Nonetheless, it's super comfortable, really mm-hmm. nice. I Sexy. tried it on too. Yeah, Danny took it off and Ooh. then I put it on yeah, and before then. I got here. It's yeah. a super cool shirt. So please, uh, if so, if are you are you saying if we get to a hundred likes, there will be a giveaway? There will be a random fan chosen. Yeah. Yes. And then that is get probably something. not. Jimmy Alicata because he's already gotten so many tapes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. We'll, we'll figure we it out. We don't mean to exclude you, but you've already gotten three tapes from us, and you got to be a guest. Yeah. Not playing favorites. It's like, you know, a bubblegum contest. You know, people who work for the bubblegum factory can't participate in the yeah, contest. that's true. Or affiliated family members. That's right. You can also find us Zebra Stripe. on Twitter. Zebra Stripe gum lasts like two seconds. Yeah, I know. I hate it so much. <laughs> so gross. Find us on Twitter at the VHS Bandits. You can find us on Instagram, which maybe you voted for this movie, which thank you for letting us watch this movie. Instagram is at VHS Bandits. No, the, just VHS Bandits. If you want to send us your opinion, your comments, you just want to rant to us, you had a bad day, maybe you need to let off some steam. Maybe you want to uh, have uh, Dane send some pictures of him in the shirt. Probably not. You don't want That'd be weird. All right. I regret saying that. (laughs) Um, Just, you know, whatever. Email us, vhsbandits at gmail.com. You can find our YouTube page. Just Google search. Uh, or YouTube search or Google search, you can find it. Uh, VHS Bandits podcast, and like I said, we have shirts on Zazzle. 
and Stop rate us on iTunes. Stuff. And rate us on iTunes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to episode 26, Gremlins 2. Thanks, uh, Topher. Huh? This You're is welcome. your last <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> uh, episode with us live in the studio. For a while. I'll be for back. For a while. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be back. You can't stay away you from You guys got to come out to California and record an episode. That's true. If you want to fund VHS Bandits going <laughs> to L.A., we'll uh, record it on VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thank you. And, um, you know, travel safe. Thank and, you. And uh, let us know when you get there. And I we'll, will. We'll definitely have more episodes, obviously. Yep. And uh, so this is going to be the last um vhs bandits with topher live here in the studio gonna change the sound up just a little bit because he'll be via skype so it'll might. probably sound the same though it might. yeah yeah i don't it, know sometimes you can just lose that sexiness in the voice i don't know just saying i never just lose saying. my sexiness in the know. voice Kev. okay yeah. <laughs> 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 um so thank you guys for listening very much um we hope you enjoyed this episode uh definitely go out and get yourself a copy of Gremlins 2. As always, I am the Kevbot, even though this time I am slightly uh, congested. With me, as always, is... Topher Hansen. Also slightly congested and not congested... Dane Train. All right. Thank you, guys. Be kind and rewind. <laughs>